As of Friday, interest on student loans has resumed after nearly a three-year pause. Additionally, payments are due in just under a month. On October 1st, that is when it, you can expect that bill. Now there's a new alert about fraudulent programs offering to reduce student loan debt. Better Business Bureau President and CEO Steve Burns joins us now with a warning about the potential scams that are out there. Good morning to you, Steve, and thank you so much for joining us in person. My pleasure, thank you. Yes, it's so <laughs> nice to be able to do this in person again. Right. So you all are obviously always monitoring the latest scams. What are you all seeing specifically as it relates to student loans? Well, $1.7 trillion in student loans. We're seeing the scammers come out of the woodworks right now because people know have to start paying October 1st, as you mentioned. So the scammers are coming with these letters or phone calls or texts or emails saying that this special program, they can help you in some way, but they need an advance fee in some way to help you. And that's the tip off to the rip up, as we like to say. That's right. And you can understand why some people may fall victim to this scam because we haven't been paying on these. <laughs> for years now so some folks might actually be inclined to submit a little bit of money and maybe a little bit might be a hundred two hundred maybe even three hundred dollars thinking this could wipe away my thousands of dollars in debt right it, right that's what they think and that little bit will help or this company has a special program for you that's not available to anybody else and that's what you have to be very careful there is no special program nobody can erase this debt the government is the only one that's going to help you with them call them directly these third-party companies student relief companies and they ask for an advance fee and that's against the legal as well they ask for the advance fee unless they do the service so there's a lot of bad actors out there but they also trying to steal your identity so there's so many things that are available but you can do all this yourself and that's what we want consumers to go department of education's website is replete with information on what to do things yourself that these companies allege they can help you with in some way i was going to ask because sometimes easier said than done especially when it comes to our seniors some of our most vulnerable consumers uh, it might not be as easy for them to spot these scams. So what are some of the ways that they can identify this is just not accurate, not true? Well, depending right away, you feel something's too good to be true, and that's usually the case. I mean, they, they promise all these promises. They don't put anything in writing. That, oh, you can erase your debt. You can take care of this information real quick. And we have the special advantage that nobody else has. But you have to act quick, Samantha, and that's the key. They, want, they don't want you to think about it or ask any questions like that. And what you need to do is take a pause, contact a lender, no matter what type of money you owe always go to them directly because they want it's their money they want you to keep paying and they'll work with you in some way oh my goodness and you know what i want to switch gears a little bit from the financial aid piece i did a story on a woman who said that she paid another woman thousands of dollars for a wedding dress and she didn't get the dress and she didn't get a refund. Um, September is a popular month for people to get married in Chicago because it's not too hot in right. some cases. So in those cases, really quick, what would you recommend future brides do when they're looking for, say, a wedding dress or a caterer or things along those lines? The key thing is do your due diligence now. My biggest frustration in my 36 year career at the BBB has from the consumers do all the work after they've been scammed or a bad business they ran into, like the case you had the other day. As well so do the research ahead of time talk to individuals go to the better business bureau we have a website that actually refers consumers to businesses that you can trust as well all right steve burnis with the better business bureau always equipping us with the right tools that we need and always providing the tip off to the rip off <laughs> we have more information on avoiding student loan scams head over to our website abc7chicago.com you can also see my latest investigative report on our website as well watch breaking news on youtube subscribe Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.